Hey, in preparation for the second month of the Three Rivers Challenge, I found some pizza crust in my refrigerator and just a little bit of sausage in the freezer that needed to be used up, along with some of that um, mixed seasoning blend. So we're gonna make a pizza. I made my own cheese. Many of you saw that video, and so we're gonna use the rest of that on top of the pizza. And then I'm going to clean out the freezer that is inside the house in preparation for using even more pantry ingredients instead of going to the grocery store this February. All right, so far, first two shelves, I have ice cream that's freezer burnt, some pecan halves, seasoned flour, and some cinnamon sugar for monkey bread some jalapenos, some of that seasoning blend I just used for the pizza, some more jalapenos, peaches, strawberries, smoothie pucks that I made and never used, bananas that I put in, although now they're brown, so wasted those too. I have some sausage, I have a mystery jar, and I have this little hen that I butchered off of my farm that I would really like to see how she tastes to see, and I, see whether or not I want to raise my own hens for meat. That's the first two shelves. Let's keep going. Shelf number three must have been the meat shelf. I have lots of lard that I need to render. I do have some dried figs that a friend of mine gave me. I don't even know if those are still any good. We'll put them in the mystery pile. This is sockeye, oh, there's some Trader Joe's fish, but this is sockeye salmon that I myself caught on the banks of the Kenai River when we took a mission trip to Alaska. I'm gonna pull that out, I'm gonna grill it, I'm gonna take it off the um, skin and take all the bones out of it, of course, then I'm going to make salmon patties. I've been looking for that salmon. Here's a few little chicken scraps, some pork chops, a ham bone, which, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Here are some, that's chicken wings. Yeah, leave them out so we can boil them. Okay, good. Those are chicken wings off of rotisserie chickens. I have a meal service, and um, when my daughter picks the chickens for me, she keeps the wings, and we do what we want to with the wings. There's um, some calamari and some T-bone steaks. So that's a lot of stuff that we can cook in this next month and not have to go to the grocery store. That's exciting. That was shelf three. Oh, I forgot to mention that I also found some random cough drops in there. Uh, just two little tiny cough drops for whatever reason. I put the chicken wings and the salmon in the refrigerator, cleaned out shelf four. If you know what those are, you're probably a homesteader. Yes, dear friends, a package of chicken feet for my husband. Don't know what he wanted them for, but I got them. So I was wondering, what am I going to eat with all this meat I keep finding? I have some rice cauliflower, I have some collards. I have some okra that I put out of my own garden. Collards came out of my own garden. I have some spinach, some blueberries, which we are inundated with blueberries. I uh, found a thing of pineapple in there and lots of poblano peppers. Now, poblanos are too hot for us, but I use these sometimes when um, I make meals for my meal service. So we will use those. I keep finding... Um, bags of flour and seasoned flour that I have saved in the freezer. If I bread something mild like chicken or even pork chops or okra, I save it in the flour, I save the flour, I put it in the freezer, and then I shake some more stuff in it because I just can't bring myself to waste it. So that's where all of that comes from, but I do need to go through it and consolidate it, and I definitely, need to make some monkey bread with this cinnamon sugar and I have plenty of pecans 
So that'll be a great treat for us. All right, in my last drawer, I found some biscuits and some ravioli. So that will help round out um, what we're going to do this week for supper. And um, so there we go. I think my best bet going forward, since it really wasn't much of a challenge in January to find enough in my pantry and refrigerator, my best bet going forward is to take inventory of what I've got and make some meal plans. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope that if you are continuing with the Three Rivers Challenge in February, that everything will go well for you. Um, don't forget those chicken feet that you might have in the back of the freezer. Uh, maybe we can make some chicken foot stew if it comes down to it. That was a big hit, I remember, in Jamaica when I was on a mission trip. So, anyway, we've got lard to render, food to cook, and definitely some monkey bread in our future. Hope your day is going well. Like, share, subscribe.